Welcome to another video. Spring is in the air, so it's February 24th, and I just thought I'd get out for a little wild camp. I'm over in the west of the Brecon Beacons, and I'm going up to Lin Fan Fak, which is a sort of a lake just up the, the valley. It's not a crazy walk up, but I just thought it'd just be nice to get out, stretch the legs, and uh, enjoy the mountains. So, right, let's get on the trail. Beautiful walk up here. Lots of um, little waterfalls flowing down the valley. But it's really hot. But absolutely stunning. Not too many people out. Thought there would be a lot more. Right, just taking a little breather on the path up. Not too far to go. But it's so hot. I need to just keep stopping and having a drink to to um, hydrate. Still undecided whether to go up onto the ridge where I'll have to lug a load of water up with me or just stay down at the um, the water's edge which would be nice I mean I have stayed here before when I first got into wild camping and I first met Austin and Lucy that was our first wild camp we'd done but that was a heavy duty one we parked over the other side and done a 12 mile round trip and stayed at the lake but yeah not far to go so I'll catch you at the top Okay, we've just reached the lake and we've run into these guys and they're from Hungary and I noticed they've all got um, 35mm film cameras. There's a little... Contacts. Contacts? Yes. And that's the Olympus OM1. OM1. And... The old Minolta X700. So there you go, people are still keeping the film um, alive. Right, they're going to head off now and I'm just going to decide whether to head up to the top or stay at the water's edge. Right, I'll catch you in a moment. Right, let's go and check out the little mountain shelter. Oops. Okay, so this is home for the night. Just looking down to the lake. It's pretty stunning here. And it's very still. Not sure what the wind's gonna be like later, but at the moment it's nice and calm. Sun is just setting behind me. Got a water source just over the brow of the hill. And the tent. The tent is gonna go there. Right, we're just going to head literally just to the bottom of this hill and fill up the water. So I think this holds five litres, which would be more than a, enough for this evening. Put the old kettle on, have a nice cup of coffee. And just relax and enjoy the evening.
the light is dropping quick and with the light the temperatures drop it's still not cold though I mean I'm still just in my my base layer just got my sleeping bag and my sleeping mat I don't know if I've ever said so this is what I use when I go camping it is a Rab Ascent 900 is my winter one um, I'm gonna be looking for a new summer bag I used to have a Van Gogh uh, Venom 400 which was a wicked little sleeping bag but I want a full length zip um, so in the summer if it gets too hot I can just kind of let let the heat out and that's what's good about the Rab is it's got a nice long full length zip so if I get too hot I can just undo it and my mat is a Sea to Summer Comfort Plus so it it weighs just over a kilo it is heavy but by far it is the most comfortable sleeping mat I've slept on I used to use X bed I had an X bed down mat and I had two of them both fell on me the baffles basically blew up on them and I just lost faith in them um, so I replaced my X bed with the Seed Summit and I have to say it is amazing it's got a, a dual pump system so if one side deflates then you've always got the other side so it's got two valves which you pump up but brilliant mat and we have the old telemark out today I can't believe it's come around so quickly like we're almost hitting spring and it's time to bring the telemark out I had um, I bought a Voyager for winter camping and I've used it twice but it's been brilliant but it's like two and a half kilos so this thing just over 900 grams is the perfect lightweight backpacking tent right I'm gonna get a brew on Got the old trusty jet boil with me today. The old MSR whisper light only really needs to be used when it's um, really cold weather and it's far from cold this evening. This is a wicked spot really nice so some food we got chicken tikka with rice something to eat we got expedition for breakfast for the morning and then we got custard apple crunch which is another something to eat for dessert it's all about the carnation squeeze if you don't know about this, if you're new to the channel, this is a game changer for coffee. It acts as a sweetener and milk, so it, that's all I buy. £1.10 for Marsons. I mean, it doesn't weigh that much, but you just squirt it in and you're good to go. And in coffee, it is amazing, I'm telling you. So, get on it. Carnation condensed milk. Good evening and the light tonight has been amazing the only sad thing is it's just over the brow the Sun has just gone down I took my drone up earlier just to kind of see what was over the ridge and it was uh, an amazing Sun sunset and the colors have just been like pastely pinks and pastely blues it's been lovely and it kind of lit up the whole of the the valleys temperatures dropped a little bit nothing too crazy I've just put my layers on just to keep warm but there's not a soul about I can just see one tiny person just up on the ridge it is time for tea chicken tea cut with rice and then well it's only about half past five 
six o'clock. I'm gonna have it now because I have got a dessert. I've got that um, raspberry crumble, which sounds like it's gonna be nice. So I can have that a bit later on. I have to say, when I first started wild camping, dehydrated meals were, well, that's what I thought they'd taste like, but they're not that bad, actually. When you're on the mountain or out camping, then any food kind of tastes good, really. Yeah, they're not bad. There are some really nice ones. But I'm just not sure if I've had this tikka before. But yeah, it smells nice. So giving that a good stir. Gonna zip him up. And wait 10 minutes. Right, hello. Welcome to the tent. So a couple of weeks ago, I went out with Pete when we had the the real um, dust in the snow a few weeks ago, me and Pete um, went over to the Brecon Beacons and we did a wild camp at uh, the, just below Corn D, um, there's a little lake there and we met up with Ben and Meg, um, I'll link you to their YouTube and their Instagram below and it was just a really nice night out, very cold. Um, but we, we all pitched our tents and it was a really nice evening. And I guess what I'm trying to say is that I started to vlog that. Um, but then we, we met up and we were chatting and, you know, just enjoying the moment. And sometimes you just got to know when to put the camera down and enjoy it. Um, so what I've done is I've got some footage from there. So I'm going to roll it now and um, just pick up the best bits. And... See what you think. Good morning to a very fresh Brecon Beacons and it's a beautiful morning. Slight breeze in the air but then it kind of drops and it's really still. The sun will be coming up behind me and at the moment I'm not sure if the camera can pick out but there's like some nice pastel pink and blue colours. Nice and relaxed morning, nothing too crazy. Just gonna enjoy the uh, the moment really of just the peace and tranquility. There's no one here at all. Right, I'm going to enjoy my coffee. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack up the tent now, quick sharpish, and um, go up onto the ridge there. Because there's not really much happening at the moment, light-wise. It's going to be a bit of a slog up there, but it should be worth it when I get out there. Right, time to get things packed away. Right, okay, that is me all packed up. That's where I was pitched. Leave no trace, as usual. And we're going out there. That's certainly got the old muscles going.
stop here, have a coffee, some breakfast. I fly the drone, just taking amazing views. We are back to the car and that was a really nice cool camp out so if you want to give us a subscribe or ask any questions and also if you ever fancy coming out for a wild camp then uh, drop us a message and or contact us through Instagram but yeah it's always nice to meet up with new people but anyway hopefully we'll be out in the van um, for our next video and you'll see Ellie and Florence but again thanks for watching and I'll see you next time thank you for watching do let us know what you thought if you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button, check out our other videos, head over to our website, we've got a range of blogs that tell you more about us and Florence, check out our new range of merchandise, helping us to continue producing our films.